Uterine torsion in buffaloes. Uterine torsion is a common problem in buffaloes. Earlier it is considered as buffaloes having habit of wallowing and traveling in hilly track area are the predisposing causes for uterine torsion in buffaloes. But the major and important reason behind the uterine torsion happens in buffaloes are its capacious abdomen and a weaker lesser broad ligament and due to which these buffaloes they are very prone to torsion and mostly torsion occurs during a uh, first stage of labor when animal become restlessness and there is a uh, vigorous movement of sitting and up so these are the major reasons why torsion is more common in buffalo compared to the cow now how to diagnose torsion the torsion diagnosed mostly on the basis of clinical signs as animal become restlessness there is continuous movement of buffaloes there is lot of training diagnosis is on the basis of clinical signs shown by the animal then per rectal and per vaginal examination of the animal first of all the signs of the vulval lips then the udder then the vertebra we have to check properly so that we will get some idea about the torsion then different methods like uh, whether torsion is pre cervical or post cervical on the basis of per rectal examination and the degree of torsion can be diagnosed by per rectal examination then by per vaginal examination we can see the direction of torsion whether it is the left side or right side so 90% torsions are right side because of rumen is present on left side okay so basically the torsion is diagnosed and then on the basis of basis of per rectal and per vaginal examination on the side of torsion we have to take rolls okay so rolling can be done mostly by using the wooden plank so wooden plank is the most accurate and the very simple method to relieve the torsion and it is called as sharma's modified shepherd's method okay so the torsion while handling the torsion case when animal is in stress so before rolling we should go for the uh, anti stressor like anhistamine or take the methadone and some fluid so pre rolling treatment is very necessary while handling the torsion or rolling by using this plank method so one or two rollings are sufficient to relieve the torsion and every time you have to check whether torsion is relieved or not and on the basis of that we have to check properly and after relieving of torsion you we have to check whether cervix is dilated or not if cervix is dilated then we have to remove the fetus because most of the time there is a change in the position and posture due to which we have to correct it and if the service is not dilated then ultimately you have to go for treatment of cervical dilatation okay so when we are handling such cases of torsion we get the such live fetus and unfortunately we are in very good position to save the life of mother and cow